Begin exposing the root ball. So we're going to expose the trunk line. We're going to get into basically just shaping and wiring it a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot to this one. So it has three main branches. We're going to choose a viewing angle, a shape that we like. Cut just a little bit back, expose the trunk line, and that's it. decided to cut this branch off before wiring because it stands in the way of the trunk line. I have chosen this viewing angle. I'll be using a bone side cutter for it. It helps get a flush cut. You can use normal shears if you want. That really opens that up. Keep it really simple, getting rid of the second one here too, leaving only two branches. That's it for a very basic shape, for a very basic juniper bonsai. I'm gonna wire it to stand up like this, and I'm really happy with that. I don't wanna do much more. We cut off two out of four main branches. Cleaned up a little bit. Go ahead and use two millimeter wire. Begin wiring the main one, in this case. We want it up. Once it's attached to the root ball, 45 degree angle as you work your way up. Not too tight. When you come up to the foliage, be a little bit careful not to crush too much. Look for the gaps in between the shoots to wire through. A second wire for this one. Can pinch the tops to reduce sides a little bit. This works very good for junipers. Shaping it a little bit now. Hold it. There we go. Any shape you want, really. That part is up to you. Shaped a little bit, pruned the tips off, and we have wired two of the main branches left into a shape that we like. A upright style. And now we're going to wire the root ball into a pot. I made this pot as a fun little experiment and I'm running out of pots, so I'm gonna plant it into this one. Begin by adding some mesh. Different ways to do this. The most important thing is that the mesh stays attached. Well, that makes it difficult to show. Add some gravel. Wire to wire in the root ball. And this potting soil is basically just a mixture of regular planting soil, some gravel, and also some coconut fiber. And that will secure the root ball really well. See that? And you use chopsticks to really feed that sort of thing. The junipers do not mind having quite packed roots.
water it all the way through, and after that, we're just gonna clean it up and make it presentable. Thank you.